Hi everyone and welcome back to our short videos on business studies. We're still in the topic of marketing and today we will be looking at the problems and implications of measuring market growth and market share. All right, so let's begin. Now, the first thing I want to look at is about how market share will change depending on the type of measurement we use, whether by volume or the units sold or the value or the total value of the uh, volume sold, the units sold. Yeah. So as you can see on my screen, I've already put in some figures for you uh, because we're going to do the calculation together. Now, in terms of volume or units sold for this company, company A, in 2019, they sold 500,000 shoes, all right? And this equates to a value of 1 million, all right? And the market size for that particular year, which means the total number of businesses in the same industry, we're referring to the shoe industry, right? Was There was a volume of $2 million sold in terms of the, uh, sorry, $2 million pairs of shoes, uh, 2 million shoes sold in the year 2019. And this equates to a value of 10 million as a market size in terms of value. Now, to show you the difference in calculation, the results we get, let's look at market share calculated in the form of value first. So as mentioned, this is company A, all right? And the market share for 2019 in terms of volume, we'll put in the size of volume first, which is 500K, right versus the market size in terms of volume of 2 million right times 100% and this gives you 25% in terms of market share calculated in terms of volume right now if we look at market share calculated in value then we are looking at this table over here all right value so you still have company a because we're using company's a information to calculate the market share for company a we will use the value of one million dollars all right one million all right divided by 10 million times 100 percent and this gives you a value of 10 percent of the market share so as you can see, there is a drop in terms of market share for company A when measured in both forms, either in volume or value. It drops from 25 to 10%. So which one will be used normally to show a company's financial performance and how they are doing well in the market? Of course, we'll be looking at the ones or the figure that gives you a favorable result. So in this case, we'll be looking at the 25%, right? Because it shows a much higher result than the 10%. So this is somewhat a problem or an implication that we need to look at because it's quite ambiguous when you look at market share so as a business entrepreneur or someone who wants to get into the shoe industry you may want to know how the market share of that industry is calculated right the other thing you want to look at is in terms of high priced items versus low priced items this has an impact on the market share as well right when a when the product is highly priced Okay, when the product is highly priced, then uh, the value would be inflated because of the high uh, price product, right? So even though the volume is sold in a very low quantity, it would normally lead to a higher market share because of the price, highly priced item, right? So this is also a way to make the market share a bit ambiguous in terms of the way it's calculated. As well as having a low price item, would you would need to sell in high volumes in order for you to be able to get a higher market share right and the next part to look at is also the number of players or number of firms in the market this also has an impact if you have a very high density market where there's so many players around and even though you're doing well and you're selling lots of shoes right it may seem that the share that you hold is slightly smaller because the market is growing rapidly on vice versa you would have a very low density market with a few players and even though sales are low but because the, the market is few you would seem as if you'll be holding a higher market share because the market is growing rather slowly so basically students these are the implications of problems when you look at market share and market growth the way we are calculating it the price, the value, the value, or value of the product would have an impact on how the share or the growth of the market is seen. So there you go. This is the end of today's lesson. I sincerely hope you're able to follow. And if you do, uh, you find it useful, please share, like,